good. There might be something in there important. You have to say what you're doing. You tell them what I'm doing. No, you tell them what you're unboxing. I don't know what I'm unboxing. Read the label. Who's this from? I don't see your name. Right there. Cheaply Chick Boutique. Cheaply <clears throat> Chick Boutique. Oh. Oh, wait, don't tear. She might have sent me goodies. It's called Happy Mail if it's extra. Cut, don't. item up for bid tickets. It's not for bid. I guess if y'all want to go to the circus, there's you some tickets. <laughs> Those are wait, wait, this is happy mail. Hold on a minute. Oh, this is good stuff. You're not, you're not under the camera, I don't think. Oh, yeah, that's a card. Hold on. Let me read my card. Hold on, hold on. This, hold on. People can't hear you reading. Oh, you're not supposed to read it. It's personal. Wait, no, no. This, mm. this is happy mail. This, so open my happy mail. Look, that's tickets. Yeah, that's tickets. There's your carnival so, rides. So don't sort those. Here's <laughs> these. I Just don't. More, right more tickets. I guess if you're going to the carnival oh, no, or whatever. That's Maggie Holmes cards. The cards, cards. You can write grandma. Don't <laughs> look. Stack that stuff and right then, here. Butterflies, butterflies, if you're into butterflies. There's that. Oh, I love those. Thank you. <gasps> That's vintage. Don't you tear that popcorn bag. Don't you... I'm not going to tear it. I'm just going to go make some and put it in it. No. <laughs> Another card. Right, Grandma? I'm going to make My some popcorn died. in a minute and put it in that. Oh, that is really cool <clears> in it. <throat> Sunflower. I don't know what that is other than They're sunflower. Okay. <gasps> Napkins. I hope nobody blew their nose on it. <gasps> They're pretty. You have to show the people that people like seeing the napkins. Because oh. we decoupage. <gasps> Look. How pretty. Ooh, but let's look at this popcorn bag for real. That is awesome. Okay. Two more brown packs that I'll use for starter fluid <laughs> no, to get my charcoal burning. <clears throat> <gasps> oh. Or napkins. I guess I'll use that as my handkerchief. That's a pretty napkin. Envelope for grandma. Got my, a little rose on the back. Both of our grandmas are dead. You don't then you can write that. grandma with this. <gasps> oh, don't you wrinkle that. Don't wrinkle. Oh, that's See? vintage. Yep. Grandma's getting letters today. <gasps> Sunny days. Sunny days. By who? By nothing. Maggie. I can't read it. Holmes. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's. I love that collection. Okay, so that that's my happy mail. Thank you, Lynette. And then the collection you're fixing to get into, but you're going to have to sort it in this box. So give me that bag. You can throw it away. No, you no. Here, hand me. <clears throat> no, you just you gotta sort my stuff how you would sort it in a. That, that's what I did. Organize it in the collect. Okay, this is the collection. It's called that. Okay, this is how I would sort it. It's called. You gotta say it's a. It's called that. Rooted it's in hope. Cheaply, cheap. I don't know if it's tissue paper or something I can tear or not, or if this is part of the whole ordeal. But I would just use it again to start my charcoal. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <gasps> it's huh? the book I write in. My journals, you know my journals I always write in. You have to say what color. Seam by, that's called seam binding. That's peach. Okay. Now hold it under the camera. But I mean, I don't, I can't tell where the camera is. Wait, at. you got to show them what the book looks like and flip through it. Describe That's what it looks it. like. You have to That's it. it. Okay. You have. On to the next one. This is a whole pack of stuff. You it's got a little bit of everything in it. <laughs> this is the. Huh? Look, the ladies are interested in seeing the actual 
collection and each okay. thing. Well, that's just too much stuff for my brain to flip through, so. No, because you have to divide it into little containers for me. Well, that's easy. One. You have to show them two, what's in these see? baggies. There's things in here. See? That goes there. There's special. That goes there. There is vintage things she shop for in each baggie. There, there. <gasps> Look at the truck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like the truck. That's old CD. We used to burn our CDs in. CD case. A little bit of everything, but anyways, it's all big, so I would put it right there. Okay, and then you then have you got the small stuff that goes there. You have to show them. There. The People want to see, like, look, this is a plant steak. How you said this was a sorting. It's not sorting. It's showing them the supplies. Anyways, it's more tickets for the carnival. No, it's not. You have to show them what's in this and put it. Look. Okay, my brain's fried. I'm done. You can go over it now. That's too much stuff for me. Okay. Okay, hey y'all, I'm here because he evidently can't, um, he can call a ball game for four hours, but he can't do a, um, he can't do a, um, yeah, it's just too much, it's too much for the male brain to, an unboxing, to try to do, so we don't look at anything, we just, See it real quick and throw it to the next to the side, and then when we need it, we'll go back and get it. <laughs> we don't sort anything; we just get it when we need it. Yeah, but I'm the hoarder around here. You're a hoarder. So, <laughs> so this is the Rooted in Hope collection from Cheaply Chic Book Boutique. No, Cheaply Chic Boutique. Sorry, I I get that confused with Cool Mom Book Boutique. The June Rooted in Hope collection, and she always writes a private letter, or not private, but you know, it is about what she's going on, going through at this time, during this time. So, and y'all watch me, I'm gonna tie my seam binding on here this time where I do not lose it. Someone gave me that tip. I appreciate it. I've done that before, but I still managed to lose them somehow, but I don't knot it. So, there it goes. So, each month she comes out with a collection. Um, this one is Rooted in Hope. She puts a title. She usually prays about it and decides. And then she makes a blank traveler's notebook. This empty with coffee dyed papers. This one actually has a pretty floral page. This, they usually have a theme. This is a gardening theme. Look at this bag. How pretty. Now these sold out in like 10 minutes, but if you'll subscribe to her channel and hit her bell notification, you'll know by the end of the month when she's gonna, she gives away three, three, um, free ones at the end of the month, and then she'll have the release you know, at a certain time, but, um, let's see, here's a music, vintage music sheet, or coffee dyed, I love having a blank slate to work on, because that's just fun, it's actually inspiring to me, it used to be intimidating, but it's inspiring now, so, this beautiful napkin, the gardening steak is adorable, the playing card that my husband didn't even notice and ask why it was in here is beautiful, that is beautiful. And then here's our bag of fibers this month. She always use gold, uses gold paper clips. That's her signature. It always has been. That's why I kind of use those in my journals. Because they do look so classy. More gold paper clips. Blessing bag can be reused. Look at all these beautiful fibers. 
I'm gonna go through my happy mail a little slower in a minute too, but that was funny. So yeah, we can make paper clips with these and all kinds of fun things. I'm gonna put those there because I tend to lose those too, but I'm gonna keep them. Here's the bookmark that dangles from the book. And then here's the little blue truck paper, how cute. A little spring napkin, CD case, another sheet of paper, we get two. I think that she said this was from Cartabella. Um, I love this green envelope. And then, um, I can hear you and I'm filming. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my world going on around here. Let's see. Oh, that says dry goods. That's cool because I've been trying to organize my cabinets with some dry thing. Look at this sticky sale tag. That is so much fun. And then she made on her channel, if you'll go back and look, a um, little um, wraparound um, little purse booklet or mini booklet to go in your album. And it is so cute. If you'll go check that out. I'll try to link that video below. A plant sheet about plants. See, my husband should have read these dictionary words. That would have been funny. I got ISBN. Irrelevant. Iris. And then there's more plant book pages that I love. Another plant book page. This vintage wallpaper is beautiful. That would make its own little traveler's notebook itself too. That's very, very pretty. And here's another gold paper clip. A pink claim check. More tickets. These little stakes that fit in these little bitty glassine bags. I mean, how cute is that? That's adorable. Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. Some little cut aparts. Okay, this is just too cute. These little mini glassy bags. <laughs> oh goodness. I would plant me some herbs, but I'd probably kill them. I killed my lavender. I didn't mean to, but it's dead. There's some more cut apart, some more, um, some green, um, I can't think of what they're, price tags. Um, chalk labels, a craft label, um, yellow labels, some more cut aparts. I love the mason jars. I, oh, I love this little shape. Is that a punch or a die? Because I really like that. And then here's more paper clips. And here's, she always punches out four hearts. And y'all know I lose these always, usually, but I'm going to put them in here where I will not lose those. Look, here's a little congratulations thing. Oh, how cute! Because my daughter's um, wedding shower's tomorrow night. And I could use this this month. How cute! Okay, so pink guest check. I have another bag. Um, a Rolodex card. Another fire starter bag. Now I'm kidding. A mini craft sack. And a, no, oh, these are seed packets, I think, because they seal. How cute. Glassine envelope. I need some of these. I love this because I want to start trying to use, incorporate something creative with those. A library pocket and a library card. See, he would have had fun with this if he'd have just been patient. He's not very patient sometimes. A vintage flash card. Ooh, a pretty brown envelope. I like that card. Oh, how cute is she? She always stamps a tag. So, 
I might would attempt to color this chick. She looks big enough for me to color. We'll see. Another tag, manila tag. A garment tag. She makes a bookmark each month out of the collections and it's double sided. I love this. We could use our white Signo Uniball gel pen that she gave us in the last collection. Well, no, I'm sorry, the Wings collection. That would be beautiful written on this. And then um, a time punch card. See, this would have been funny too. So there is that. And let me look at my Happy Mail in person without standing up again because, oh my goodness. Thank you, Lynette. I'm so excited. I need these in my life. <laughs> I need these for my journal collections I mail out. Thank you. So those of y'all who've been waiting, see I wait on things like this to come in and I'm getting some things in. I love this bag. And I love these Maggie Holmes cards. They're so cute. Look, I lost my grandma when I was six. And we lost his grandma when we were like 26. And he says I can mail grandma. Oh, I don't have that one. I love that. Thank you, because I mail these in all my orders. Thank you. And then, this is what I wanted to look at. For one, my Tuesday morning is closing, I believe. But for two, they never have Maggie Holmes, like, stickers or die cut, like, those kind of things. I'm so excited. Look at the little fringes. How cute. So excited. That makes me want a scrapbook. Oh, I love this card. Surely he shall deliver thee, and under his wings shall thy trust. His trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Psalm 91. Oh, she knew that we've been reading. Um, she sent me a birthday card on her birthday month. Oh, it's my sister's birthday today. Happy birthday, Carrie, if you're watching. I love you. Um, so here are some more of C packets, yay. And again, I'm so excited about these napkins. And I love this one, like this would be so cute to use for the shower too. And I'm obsessed with these, like oh my goodness. I mean, how cute is that? And can you imagine us actually filling up on, look, that's like I said in my video yesterday, filling up on this much coffee and having this much popcorn. That's why they were so skinny. Like, I saw the dresses from that lady's sale yesterday and they were like a size zero. It's because they drank that much and ate this much for a snack. I love these. And daisies are my favorite. Love daisies. Love these. These will be so much fun to decoupage little pieces. I think I feel something in that bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, she told me for my horse journal to save this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to put it over here in my little ray dime bowl that I found yard selling last week. I love this collection. And you only get one sheet per thing, I think, in the sunny day. So I love the sunny days collection. This is really cool paper. And so is this. How cute with a ladybug and the sunflowers. How cute. This is beautiful. I might really write a letter on that. 
And then I always save these. I always save these, y'all, to cut apart and use as your spines for your books or for your books. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you um, would feel so inclined to. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos. I have a lot of content coming soon. Monday, I will be doing a... Um, collab with cheaply chic not chic <laughs> with Lynette for home decor um estate sale and um yard garage sale haul so that's gonna be fun and then I might be back later on with a journal with me but I am going to make some ephemera packs to send out with these journals for a little bit as well so I can't wait to get in this. I've been waiting on this. It's been a couple months because of the virus and all that. So, so excited to get back into the daily journaling book. I mean, I've been journaling, um, and I need to show y'all um, in my book that I had showed y'all from... Um, one of my hauls back from Aisha Young and I, I've just been writing in it and just putting washi down or a sticker down, but I've just been writing every morning. I think yesterday morning was the first morning I haven't in a while. So I, I, that's what I've just been doing to just fill my creative outlet while I've been trying to just work creatively because working creatively is kind of different than to me than creating creatively, if that makes sense. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye.